How are you today? Thank you for attending Mark's Moments on Title Tuesdays. Today, we're going to talk about bankruptcy and probate as it's concerning title. And remember, what's the disclosure that you see on the bottom? I am not an attorney. I am not giving legal advice. I am giving customer service, layperson information that will affect your closings. So if you need further information on this video, you can call me or you can contact any probate attorney or bankruptcy attorney. We have plenty for you that we can um, refer to you to verify some of the information that we're going to talk about. This is not going to be an involved video. This is the cliff notes of bankruptcy and probate as it pertains to title. So what's the first thing we're going to talk about? Let's talk about bankruptcy because it doesn't come up as much in title, but it does come up. The things to remember when you're selling or buying a property, whether you're an investor, whether you're a realtor, it doesn't matter. Whether you're a single person selling your property or a new person buying a property. If you as the seller have had bankruptcy done recently, you have to remember that no matter how much you've done in the bankruptcy court and no matter how much has been done to get everything in order under your bankruptcy, if it is recent or even if it's older and it's getting ready to clear off your you know uh, allotted time for bankruptcy however long it stays on your credit you have to make sure that if you're selling that property that was included in the bankruptcy even if it's your homestead property if it was your investment property it doesn't matter if it was included in the bankruptcy there has to be an order releasing the property from bankruptcy okay it is not something you're going to do it's something your bankruptcy attorney is going to do it's a very routine thing. We're only doing this video because routine things seem to confuse people sometimes. This is 101 of bankruptcy court. So if you're going through bankruptcy, don't fear. We have referrals for that too. People have been through bankruptcy and they come out on the other end even better than before. But when you're trying to sell that property on title, things are gonna come up because in the bankruptcy court, in the docket, it's going to show up in public record and say, hey, this property is in bankruptcy. Or hey, you have creditors that may be claiming money once this property is sold. Whatever the case may be, it's going to come up on title typically and we have to be clear, we have to clear those things. So if you know you had a bankruptcy, recent or old, and you're selling your property, just double check with your bankruptcy attorney before you even list it to make sure everything is in order. It'll save you some time. When people are buying a property, if they themselves, if they themselves, the buyer, has bankruptcy on their credit and they're buying cash, typically nothing's gonna happen because it doesn't matter. However, don't be alarmed if you have bankruptcy on your credit and you're getting a loan because people out there are not telling you that you can still buy a house. There's a certain amount of time you might have to wait, but don't listen to the naysayers. Listen to people that know about credit know about loans and surround yourself by them and if you don't have them you call mark and i'll forward you to the people just because you had bankruptcy on your credit does not mean you can never buy another home whoever told you that is lying to you you can buy another home you can empower yourself and you can move past it so this is the end of the part of bankruptcy on to probate what is probate someone died basically lay person i'm not an attorney Probate means someone died. When do these things come up as a buyer and seller? So let's say you're selling a property. It was in your mother's name. Your mother was on the deed alone and unfortunately she passed away. May she rest in peace. You as the son or you as the daughter will have probably had to do probate. So think about it. Mom was on the deed alone. She died and you're gonna tell yourself and all your friends Oh, but mom had me in the will and I get everything. It's such a good will. It was a great, pretty will. Great. But in order to get that legal document of a deed from mom's name, who she's deceased and can't sign, to you, there has to be an intervention from the court in some fashion. The will alone is not sufficient to avoid probate. There could have been in advance some other documents, state planning documents done so that if mom passed away, it could automatically transfer to you or the trust or something. But if those things weren't done and we have a typical South Florida lovely mother who passed away and didn't do proper estate planning documents for her investment or her property, 
then probate may be needed. May be needed because I'm not an attorney, but I'm telling you, you need to think about this. So you have to do probate with the court and there's levels of probate depending on the assets. Under a certain amount, there's one type of probate. Over a certain amount, there's another type of probate. With the will, there's a certain type of probate. Without a will, there's another type of probate. I'm not getting into the verbiage because I don't want to sound like a lawyer. I'm giving you the cliff notes to pay attention. So if you're in the scenario that mom passed away, she was alone on the deed, you're going to have to hire a probate attorney for something, at least a review. Then once that probate is done, there are probably two different ways that the property will be vested. The new title will be done. It'll either be done in the estate of Fanny Smith that passed away and you as their child or whoever could be the personal representative of that estate or it could vest completely into you in your own name for you to then sell it how you wish. Both ways happen and both ways still allow us with proper documentation to move forward with the sale. Sometimes we're paying you directly as the new heir and it's all done properly and a new deed is in your name. Or sometimes we're paying the estate and then the estate figures out the proceeds later on, but at least we can sell the property and get the money into the estate and the personal representative can sign for those things along with the requisite documents from the probate court that we need to record. So that's, again, remember the layperson's version of probate. If you die and you have a property in Florida, but your, resident domic your residence or your domicile is in New York, and you do all the probate in New York, and you have a big fancy New York attorney, I'm from New York, so I can talk like that, and you do all the probate well, and they say, oh, we don't need to do probate in Florida, because we did it in New York, get a new attorney or have them double check with Florida because I'm not an attorney, but I am telling you that property in Florida, even though there was probate done in another state, still has to be probated if the document or the deed doesn't allow for transfer automatically. Just something to think about. If you're a buyer and you're buying a property that has probate on it, a good listing agent could list the property now and say, hey, we're working on probate. It won't be ready to sell until three months from now. And if you tell the buyer or buyer's agent in advance and they like the deal, typically no one cares to wait because they're excited that they were no surprises. And in three months they'll close, whether they're paying cash or whether they're paying with a loan, it doesn't matter. So Mr. Buyer or Mrs. Buyer, don't be scared that probate's going on. Be happy that it's going on and clearing it up and have reasonable expectations. When people give you reasonable expectations of how long to wait, then usually most people are fine with it. It's when you don't tell them and you say, oh, probate will only take 30 days and you didn't even start yet. You're lying to your clients and then they're making them wait thinking you don't want them to run off, but now they're frustrated. So then when you go back for another extension and another extension, you're telling stories you didn't need to tell. Probate could take 90 days. Could it take sooner? In Dade County, it could take 120 days. In Broward County, it could take 60 days. Palm Beach County, it could take 90 days. But you're not gonna get much done in under 60 days with probate. Could it be done quicker? Maybe, but why set yourself up for failure? Set yourself up for success and give reasonable timeframes for people to understand. So what did we cover? We covered some questions about bankruptcy that come up and affect title. We also covered some other questions about probate. When there's dead people, I see dead people a lot. That's what I do. So probate comes up 10%, 15% of all our files every month. Just a matter of knowing who to talk to, who to remain calm with, who to guide properly, and who to get it done. This is Mark from Mark Moments. Thanks and have a great day.